Hamilton. I, sir, sir, uh, the president is expected. Why should I be denounced by your friend and protege, Madison, as the great corrupter of my country, when the truth is I've saved the United States? By restoring its credit and breathing new life into its floundering economy, by urging the president to veto the bank, you, sir, risk the nation's financial life. The bank of the United States, which you so eloquently promote, could become not so much the engine of the state as the engine of its corruption. <laughs> that is ridiculous. By granting Congress more power to do whatever it deems good for the United States, you also grant them the power to do whatever evil they please. Have you ever read my bill, or is your judgment another hand-me-down from Madison? My God, Mr. Hamilton! Gentlemen, please. Mr. Jefferson. He and Madison, by their strict interpretation of the Constitution, would put shackles on us forever so that we cannot change for the times. A strong government must have the right to intervene in all matters touching the general welfare. But what are the consequences of such power? Our freedom is threatened. Already the veterans of the poor have been betrayed. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, that can you deny, sir? that speculators descended on the back country, purchased stock at depressed prices, and sold it at greatly increased value to become rich? Your funding, sir, proved to be a flagrant injustice and corrupt at the heart. And so may this damnable bank and the rest of your plans. The last thing I wished to do in all the world was hurt those who fought and fought by my side in the war. Even now, of injustice can come a greater good. A nation of new strength. Gentlemen, please. Mr. Jefferson, with you and out, we could create an economic structure that'll last for centuries. You, that, that, sir, you promise to make us self-sufficient. Yes, I would have us export food, natural resources, and import manufactures forevermore. Let the workhouses and the factories remain in the foul cities of your... You would deny destiny then and turn away from what could be our greatness. You may keep your greatness and your destiny and your fetid dreams of wealth through manufacture. Sir, the people of the land are the chosen people of God, if ever indeed he had a chosen people. Excuse me, Grandpa. Forgive me, Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Hamilton, for interrupting you. Please convey my apologies to your grandmother, Mr. President. Whatever else need be said, wait, since obviously we have no common ground. Good day, Mr. President. Good day. Keep the army in the field, and then they went hungry. 